Hi, welcome to another episode of Tom Kennedy Science, and I'm your host, Dr. Tom Kennedy. And today, we got some Diet Mountain Dew here. I drink diet sodas. I'm not saying that they're healthy for you, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it turns out that there is a lot of concern over uh, obesity in this country and whether or not you should substitute sugar for artificial sweeteners and whether or not these artificial sweeteners are safe or healthy. And those are two different questions. So whenever you go on the web and you Google aspartame, sucralose, artificial sweeteners, uh, a lot of stuff pops up. Now today what I'm gonna talk about is just aspartame because it's the one I know the best. And if you Google aspartame, I mean, it comes up like it's the worst thing that's ever been invented, that it causes cancer, it causes dementia, it causes all kinds of health problems. It's one of the most dangerous substances on the planet. Well, what are we supposed to believe here, right? Well, you know, I'm drinking a Mountain Dew. At least a diet. And there's a reason why I drink a diet over the regular full sugar. Too much sugar in your diet is a bad thing. It can lead to all kinds of vascular problems, diabetes, insulin resistance, makes it hard to lose weight, etc. Now, interestingly, when people switch to diet, they often have very similar outcomes as people drinking the regular sodas. This is interesting, right? So let me begin by talking about whether or not aspartame is safe. I'm gonna tell you right now it's safe. It's totally safe. It's been out on the market for decades. There's been no groundswell of cancer and problems like that based on aspartame. In fact, what is aspartame? Aspartame is a dipeptide. So aspartame is made up of two amino acids, phenylalanine and aspartic acid with the methyl group. And the minute it hits your stomach acid, it splits into phenylalanine and aspartic acid. Phenylalanine is one of the essential amino acids. It's an amino acid you have to have that your body can't make. And aspartic acid is just one of the other 20 amino acids we use to make proteins. Oh, you're worried about the methanol? Yeah, you drink methanol when you have a glass of orange juice. That has more methanol in it than you'll ever get in a diet soda like Diet Mountain Dew here, right? I mean, think about that. So it's, yeah, you can't drink a lot of methanol. You also can't drink a lot of alcohol. And if I have too much dihydrogen monoxide, oh boy, I'll come back to that one. That can kill you too. Um, so I would like to know how that would be causing cancer. Now, with anything, yes, you can drink too much of anything. You could have 50 sodas a day worth of aspartame and that would not be good for you. It'd be bad for you. Just like if you drink a gallon of water every hour, that would also be bad for you, even though we have to have water. So as long as you're under the recommended daily dose, aspartame is completely safe. It is not going to cause brain cancers, dementia, or those host of other problems that you might find on a site like... Now here's where science gets complicated. Here's where the world gets complicated. I said, in no way do I think this is healthy. No, I don't, I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's good for me. I don't think it's terrible for me either. But uh, at best, artificial sweeteners are neutral. They have no effect on us. At worst, they, they can affect our health in a, in a not so good way. Whenever people switch to diet drinks, they often experience the same level of obesity and these other uh, metabolic problems associated with obesity like diabetes, like vascular disease. And the question is, why is that? It's not so much that the aspartame is causing that specifically, but what's happening? And this is complicated, right? It's been hypothesized that when I drink this, because I'm not getting any calories out of it, but my body is going, whoa, there's something sweet. It's making me hungrier, so I eat more later. So I increase my caloric intake because I'm drinking this. I'm also flooding my body with, or my gut, with additional different types of amino acids that I normally wouldn't get that many of them in a free form, aspartic acid and phenylalanine. And what we're seeing is that 
when people consume diet sodas, that that's been associated with a change in your gut microbiome. And we have over a thousand different types of microbes in our gut, and they're doing all kinds of different things. And when we switch, when we start drinking a lot of diet sodas with aspartame in them, it appears that we start getting more of the types of microbes that are very efficient at breaking down foods. Hmm, efficient at breaking down foods. What does that mean? You know, you, you drink something and you're like, well, that has 100 calories in it. Okay, it's got 100 calories. We can measure that based on this pure chemistry, right? The amount of energy stored in the bonds of those molecules. Now, that does not mean that you can get that 100 calories out of it, right? You might only get a third of those calories. You might get 70% of those calories. And what affects how efficiently your body extracts energy from the foods you eat is in effect your gut microbiome. So if you switch your gut microbiome to bacteria that are very efficient at extracting energy from the foods you eat, then yeah, you eat less foods but you get more energy out of them and you're not burning that off by exercising, guess what? You gain weight. So that is why some of the artificial sweeteners might not be a healthy alternative. So the reality is we should all get off of sodas. <sighs> I know, I know, I have my vice. I don't do everything perfectly in life. But if you wanted to be really healthy, the best thing to do is to avoid a lot of sugary drinks and avoid drinking a lot of sodas every day. Uh, now, can you go have a regular diet Mountain Dew or a regular soda once a week? Yeah, probably, not a big deal. The, the thing is with all of these things is you don't wanna do it all the time. So as you can see, is, it, is, is aspartame safe? Yeah, oh yeah, it's totally safe, but it might be having effect on our metabolism that's leading us to obesity by either changing our, our eating patterns and changing the efficiency of our gut microbiome. So as you can see, the world gets a little complicated, but I definitely drink my diet Mountain Dew. There are far worse things I do to myself and most people do to themselves than drink a diet soda. But with anything, it's all about moderation. Don't do too much of anything. Okay, until next time.